Hey everybody, Aaron here from Countryside Acres. If you're new to the channel, my wife and I and our eight children moved to Russia about three months ago. We've been living here for about three months. Today's video is an older one we did back in March when we still had snow on the ground. It is now a very lovely spring and there is no snow. It's all melted. But it's an older video we did not get up on time. So watch it today and enjoy. So we took a drive out into the country to go see some more farmland and along the way we came across the subdivision. There was uh, both sides of the road subdivision. So we decided to go check that out and drive through and see if it's similar to subdivisions in Canada or what exactly was going on there. Every house looks almost identical, which we thought was amusing. Maybe not being able to find your own home back at the end of the day, but uh, well built well nice like nice houses nice yards um, single family homes we don't see a lot of single family homes here or that's one thing we had commented on people seem to live more in apartments but these subdivisions there was many many homes and all as you can see single family homes with a decent yard for children to play and this seems to be a new standard of building that they're doing here
Good afternoon, everybody. We are uh, still out and about looking for stuff. We've traveled in a couple of different directions from Nizhny Novgorod looking at land, and uh, we still really like this area east of Nizhny towards, uh, what would that be? Kind of in the direction of Barmino, if you know where that is on the map. It's just really beautiful. It's a lot of rolling hills, very scenic, pretty, as you can see from the footage. Uh, very nice. And as we've said multiple times now before coming here, one thing we were concerned about is it's going to be really flat and it's not here. It's absolutely stunning. So the particular area we're looking at right now, I know there's some, you can see in the background here some hills. I know there's land here uh, for sale. I don't know exactly where it is. That is one drawback. There's not, uh, it's really hard to find clear listings of stuff. Uh, in Canada, we have a site called MLS and it's very detailed, very well laid out. Uh, as far as where properties are, what's available in a property, uh, you know, lots of good pictures. Obviously, the uh, real estate market is pretty competitive, so you want to have good photos on there. Uh, we've mul mentioned multiple times that there's opportunities here, and that is one thing that I see as an opportunity. Somebody could definitely set up a website with much better layout on where properties are. But yeah, beautiful. Very nice just to be able to drive out here. It's not a sunny day today. We've had uh, quite a few number of sunny days. Today's a little bit more cloudy but still a nice day for a drive. So there are a number of sites like Scene, C-I-A-N, uh, Russia. That's what I put in my, in my browser, C-I-A-N, Russia. Uh, also Avito, Russia is uh, another good site to find stuff. But the problem with those sites is, again, like a lot of the homes that are for sale, there might be two photos. You might have the outside of a house, you know, one corner of it, or it's zoomed in really far and you can't really see anything. Or uh, even interior of a house, I find, depending on who's taking the photos, you know, you might have a zoom in on a toilet. Well, that doesn't show me the bathroom. I don't really care what the toilet looks like. So uh, then there's other, other people that do a really good job, but I think there's room for improvement there. And somebody could easily set up a website and lay that stuff out on there really nicely, you know, do a better job of taking pictures. We have this problem in Canada as well too. Some realtors are not very good at taking a picture and that makes a property, it can make a property either sell or not sell. So those are two main sites though to find properties. I'm sure there are others, uh, but I have yet to find anything where it's laid out really well. This particular farm uh, that that I possibly would like uh, is part of a larger holding and there's really no, I think there's like five generic pictures on there, that's it. So I'll, I'll email them for more information and, uh, and I'm sure they can provide that. But yeah, it, it would be nice to see that. I think for anyone else coming here, it's nice just to have a layout of what's available, what's included, um, you know. Actually, I seen one on a video the other day. It was a farm for sale and it was really well laid out. They had a lot of pictures, uh, all detailed list of equipment that was involved, a detailed list of animals that were involved. Uh, yeah, it's just a whole bunch of information. So, But again, that's up to the individual. This is something that's really cool. These little houses, little dashes, I guess I think you call them. They're tiny little cottages. I have no idea how old they would be, but I'm guessing old. A lot of character. Russians love these trims around the windows. Seems like every home has its own unique design of it. This one here, of course, is updated. A lot of these old ones have a, a fair bit of character. And colorful, they pick like a multitude of different colors. This one right here? No, the other one. That one, the yellow one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, very neat. So this is just awesome. Rolling hills. It's interesting because uh, as Anise has pointed out a few times now, the excitement in the vehicle has gone way up. As the kids see all this, they're just super excited. And yes, even those old little dashes. They, uh, to most people, I guess, maybe just see that they're run down, falling apart. Some people might even say, oh, that one needs to be bulldozed. And it's interesting, we've flipped a lot of homes. And I Oh, flipped means buying an old house, fixing it up, and sold it. We've done that a number of times. And so we've taught our kids to see past the dirt and the grime and try to look at the potential. And so it's amazing to see when you see this half dilapidated, you know, shed 
that somebody used to live in. The kids are like, oh, that's awesome. I could live in there. <laughs> that's nice. It's just nice to hear. They're not spoiled, entitled brats. They can see potential. It's beautiful. And, yeah, it's nice to hear their excitement. Some of the properties we've looked at, they're not so excited. This particular area, the excitement level definitely has gone up quite a ways. Absolutely beautiful. It's so quiet and peaceful. There's not a soul in sight. It's just quiet. Honestly, most of the places we've driven, there's a village somewhere. And this is just a nice, quiet road. There's a village down at the end of here, but uh, not a lot of life. Not There's not a lot going on there. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. If I could get a slice of this, I would be a happy man. So would the family. What's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five In the city life Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car <laughs> <laughs> we can look back Isn't someday <laughs> Baby, don't you understand That we only give one life I wanna make it count Honey, come on now and take my hand Is that fun, Maddie? <laughs> hey, I wonder what you're saying Another <laughs> way to speak <laughs> On the road with a couple of teens And a car or two I wanna make 